What happens if you use steel reinforced epoxy instead of thermal paste in your PC? Well, as you'll see by the end of this video, please don't try this at home. With our two part cold weld system mixed together on our CPU, we can plop down the CPU cooler and wait for it to set. After which, we can measure the temperature of the CPU with this top left line graph, which immediately climbs and climbs until we hit the magical number of 100 degrees Celsius. Turns out epoxy doesn't have the best thermal conductivity, but that's not even the worst part. You see, because once this fully cured, this thing may have permanent bonded the CPU and CPU cooler. I need stronger hands, or chemicals, or more heat or something. Yeah, I'll figure it out. 